Hi everyone, my name is Shauna, in case you don't know, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be telling all of you my unpopular Marvel Cinematic Universe opinions. I'm going to say a ton of stuff that are going to piss a ton of people off. So be prepared to be offended if you are a huge Marvel fan. First things first, all the Iron Man movies and the first two Thor movies are insanely boring. I can barely tell you anything about those movies because I was struggling to stay awake while I was watching all five of those movies. I haven't seen the newest Thor movie, but I'm hoping that it'll be good. I really liked Thor Ragnarok, but the first two Thor movies, I was like, geez, why are these so popular? Why did Thor become popular off of these? Especially the second Thor movie really was like lacking in action, lacking in plot, lacking in character. It was just not my favorite. Next up, Black Widow was the correct choice of who to die in Avengers Endgame. Going into Avengers Endgame, I knew that either Black Widow or Hawkeye was going to die, and I like Hawkeye better, but I was like, Black Widow shouldn't die. However, after I watched Endgame and like thought about it, and after watching Hawkeye, I was like, yeah, Black Widow was the correct character to die. And I also think that Marvel didn't necessarily treat Scarlett Johansson the best, so I think that it's time for her to move on to bigger and better projects that feel more rewarding for her and that have an atmosphere that is really good and supportive of her, and that has an atmosphere where she doesn't have to be on extreme diets. Next up, the Loki series wasn't good at all. It had terrible representation. It advertised itself as having gender fluid representation and pansexual representation, but that representation was really like shoved in there. It was barely in there at all. I hated also the self-cest in there. That's another reason why that show was terrible. Essentially, Loki fell in love with a different version of himself that has the same DNA. It's self-cest. It's basically incest. But it's not incest because they're literally the exact same person. Also, I hate the Loki fandom because of how they treat the Sylvie Loki situation. And then also, I hate Loki because it was really boring after episode 2. I liked episode 1 and 2. I thought that it was a great start to the series. I thought that it was really interesting. I thought that it had a lot of potential. I really, really, really liked Mobius. And then everything went downhill after Sylvie was introduced. Next unpopular opinion, most MCU couples have no chemistry. I'm not tacking all MCU couples. There are definitely a couple that have chemistry, but the majority of them are really bland and have no chemistry. For example, Pepper and Tony, Ant-Man and the Wasp, they have no chemistry. The Wasp is a very bland and uninteresting character. I wouldn't be surprised if Evangeline Lilly just got like booted out of the Marvel Universe at some point because of her views on vaccines and yeah it's very extremist her views on vaccines and frankly her character wasn't interesting to me so I would be fine if they replaced her with someone else but I would also be even more fine if they just booted her out of the universe. Now I know there's gonna be another Ant-Man movie that she is in that's all done filming so obviously she has at least one more film but I would be fine if she just wasn't in any of the Marvel movies anymore. Next up, Captain Marvel isn't perfect, but she gets more hate than she deserves, and people wouldn't hate her if she were a man. I mean, the parts of her personality that she gets hate for are literally the same things that everyone praises Tony Stark for. And one thing too is her solo movie wasn't the strongest, but compared to the Iron Man movies, it was phenomenal. The Iron Man movies are absolute trash and I despise them, in case you can't tell. Hawkeye had the absolute worst intro out of all the characters into the MCU, and I am not talking about Avengers, I am talking about the first Thor movie. He looked weird in that movie, his character didn't even get to do anything exciting, he just got like pulled up in this little metal cage thingy to hypothetically shoot Thor, but nothing ever happens to it, it's the lamest introduction of any Marvel character. Spider-Man was robbed of solo movies, and I'm not talking like Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire, I'm talking about Tom Holland in the MCU. It just feels like every single one of his movies, either the main villain or the other supporting heroes, overshadow him. He didn't truly get a solo movie, it feels like. No Way Home, he has the other Spider-Mans in there, and he also had Doctor Strange in No Way Home, and in Homecoming he had Iron Man. It just felt like Spider-Man was really robbed. Civil War and Infinity War are really good, and I stand by that, but they're both extremely overhyped. I'm having this issue with a lot of Marvel content recently where the fandom hypes everything up no matter what, and they only criticize Marvel stuff if there is diversity in it. And that makes it so that a lot of the movies are really overhyped. 
Next thing that I will stand by until the day I die is that Hawkeye has been and will always be one of the best Avengers. He definitely didn't have the strongest start to this series but his character has really grown and Hawkeye, like the show, was one of the best Disney Plus shows of all time. Especially way better than that Star Wars Disney Plus crap. Yeah, I said that I don't like the Star Wars shows that are original Disney Plus shows. Next up, Tony Stark is super annoying, arrogant, and cocky. He is literally my least favorite Marvel character. I think that his first movie, the concept of the first movie was interesting. The concept of the second and third movie wasn't interesting, but I just find Tony Stark to be really, really annoying. He gets on my nerves. I cannot stand him. In Civil War, I always sided with Captain America. First of all, because I agree with Captain America's side in Civil War much better, but also just because I don't want to side with Tony over anything. This one is really controversial, but it's one that is very important because it is something that means a lot to me personally. Thor in Avengers Endgame does have some problematic issues. There is definitely a lot of like fat jokes put in there. However, I really liked the PTSD representation that Thor had in Avengers Endgame. I have PTSD. And a lot of triggers for mine are names. So when Thor has issues hearing Thanos' name, I really related to that and I felt seen and I felt understood. Now granted, they could have definitely dived into the PTSD more, but I think that that PTSD representation is important because sometimes we don't get that type of representation in Marvel content like we should be getting. And my final Marvel unpopular opinion is that I don't ship Steve Bucky. I never have. I've never understood it. To me, they've always just been really close friends who sincerely care for each other. They're like friend soulmates, not romantic soulmates. But Sam Bucky, on the other hand, love them together. I ship them so much. They are so much better than Steve Bucky. They have more chemistry. They have some bantering. They have really fun scenes together and I just love Sam and Bucky together. And I know that it's most likely that they'll never ever become an official couple in the Marvel Universe, but I still ship them and I still think they would make a really cute couple. So those were all of my unpopular Marvel Cinematic Universe opinions. I know I said some stuff that like will piss people off, but oh well, you know? I think most Marvel content is great. I think a lot of Marvel fans are great. I think there's also some really toxic ones and I feel like expressing an opinion that isn't super popular within the Marvel fandom can open you up to get a lot of hate because a lot of people don't agree with you. So I know I just opened myself up to a lot of hate, but I really don't care because I wanted to voice my opinions on this because I feel very passionately about this. I love the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Does it have its flaws? Yes. Are there things I like about it? Yeah, there's things I hate about it. Also, yeah. But yeah, that was really all. I hope that you found this video entertaining, even if you disagreed with some of my opinions. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. I upload two videos a week, so my next video will be uploaded next Tuesday. I am very sorry if you've been hearing a noise in the background. I've had a neighbor since 10.30 this morning sawing things. I don't know which neighbor, I tried to figure it out. And it is currently 5.11 p.m. So several hours they've been sawing things. It's really annoying, but there's nothing I can do about it. I will hopefully see all of you in my next video on Tuesday. And until next time, goodbye.